Boom! Check this out guys. Stick around for this video. We're going to do a full review of the sound, the design, comparing it to the Mandalorian and uh, telling you what we think about this new lightsaber drop of the Darksaber. Where? From Star Wars Galaxy Day. Yes! Oh! oh look at that. Coming out with us. If you like deadly Jedi weapons, vlogs from a galaxy far, far away, or anything Star Wars, make sure to hit the subscription button and the notifications bell so you don't miss any of our videos. Yeah, that was awesome. Mando remix in the house. Yo, what's up? This is Bobby the Force. <laughs> what was with the delay? You know the name of our channel. This guy is Landon Sidious. And, and this young Jedi is Obi Wan Kenobi. Hello, everyone. Welcome to another another one of our awesome lightsaber reviews. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing because we are the best of friends. I think I have a hair in my back. Mom's hairs are always in my clothes. So thanks for joining us. I can't wait to open this up and take a look at it. I can't believe Disney dropped this on us. Can you believe that? Some of you guys in the comments said, hey, they might make a dark saber. And I thought, no way, dude, seriously. Because guess what? Every saber Disney has come out with so far at Galaxy's Edge fits in one of these two boxes. What sabers are these? Uh the Princess Leia lightsaber and the uh, Ray Scavenger. That's right. Stick around if you want to hit subscribe. You don't want to miss this review because we have a lot of things to say about the Ray Scavenger saber. That review is coming up next. Okay, guys? So they totally surprised us on another magical Monday with boom, with this sucker, which surprisingly doesn't isn't as big as I thought it would be. It but I mean, look at this. Button. It's not a real button. It is considerably bigger than uh, than what you're used to seeing, right? Yeah. But can't believe they surprised us with this. I wonder what material this is. Yeah. So again, this is, of course, this is in the plastic. We haven't opened it up. Here comes our honest reaction, our first reaction of this lightsaber. All right, you ready? Yeah, all right. Let's open her up here. So this lightsaber, by the way, I don't think there's been a saber that has been passed around the Star Wars community as much as this thing has, right? Whoop. Uh, Sabine Wren, Darth Maul, Pre Vizsla. Seems like everybody's had a turn with it. Kind of yeah. like the neighborhood hussy, if you know what I mean. Yeah. You don't know what I mean. Don't no. smile like that. There are instructions on the bottom of the box, and it shows you uh, how to assemble and remove the blade and all those things. All right, guys, I'm gonna show you first again and uh, and make Landon squirm here. How does this thing open? Oh, ooh, it's got magnets? Okay, it's got magnets. Here we go. Paperwork, what do we got here? More papers, no one likes papers. All right, feast your eyes. I wonder what's gonna, what's gonna look like, what's gonna happen. All right, here we go, Are you ready? Yeah. One, two, three. Oh, oh look at that. Woo! Dang, that is clean. Whoa, how does that feel in your hand, dude? Oh, this is awesome. We got this really nice stand here. Wait, how does it Came with play? a stand. Whoa, it's the first saber to come with the Allen wrench. That's crazy. Let's see, the stand is, uh, it's a plastic, but it feels good. It doesn't Daddy, feel cheap. Is it supposed to come out? Probably, yeah, that's probably a, well, something to protect well, the one connector. Well, I have one question, but how can we put a blade in here? I'm sure we're going to find out, bud. <laughs> so, what do you think? This is awesome. Hey, look at that. This is Twitch. It's like a movie. It doesn't... I don't know if they have a round button in the movie, but we're going to find out. But I think I figured out the stand. Here you go. Boom. There's a stand that you can put the hilt in. Let's check it out. Wow, I can't wait to talk to you guys about the design. This is crazy. All right, we got it in the stand. Easy to, to remove and battle with. 
All right, so we'll, let's put that to the side I here. I wonder how you put the blades in. I hope that these light up. Remember last time with the cross guard? Oh my! Oh! That's the blade! Look at that. I hope so too. We really, just before we turn, yeah, it turn it on, on. we really okay. hope these side turn on. So, taking a look at this blade here, there are these screws and you can see, uh, look in here, there's like these chips that are kind of exposed. That's interesting. I wonder why they would le let us unscrew that unless it was to repair something at uh, some point in the future. All right, guys, so let's talk about the design. So holding this, you can feel there's this texture all along the outside. It feels really neat. It's, uh, it's like the softest sandpaper you've ever felt. What kind of belt clip is that? Powertech? I see that. Yeah, that's really clean looking, and I bet this works with all the, uh, the belt clips from Galaxy Edge that they sell there, right? Wow, I cannot believe Disney pulled this on us, man. Well, another thing, something's rattling in our hilt. I hope it just has something to do with the, the locking mechanism of the blade. I don't know, I'll ask, my, I'll ask a buddy of mine to make sure that's normal or not. Feel the grip. So the grip has this kind of sandpapery feel to it. Really helps you hold on to it. All the metal up here has a really nice gloss. Really shiny up at the upper emitter part here. Yeah. Complicated sort of uh, contraption here. I think we have a release button to get it in there. If you press the button with no blade, nothing happens. How does it feel in your hand, dude? Feels like very cool. Like, feels kind of light. Dang. Galaxy Edge, you hooligans dropping this on us. I can't believe you did this. Hey bud, what do you say we compare the design of this saber to like the, the one we have in the, the Star Wars book? So we did a review on this awesome lightsaber book from Lucasfilm, and it's so cool. On page 90, go ahead and show everybody. Hold it like this, we found the dark saber. They talk about the history of it, and we've got a picture of the dark saber. Let's compare how it looks here, bud. So we've got four windows by the emitter. I think Disney rounded the overall grip of it to be a little bit more comfortable. The hand protector here, I, I don't remember exactly what this is called, is more rounded and glossy than it is flat and sharp. Look exactly like the replicas from the Mandalorian. Look exactly like the replicas from the Mandalorian. And now we've got the blade. Can I turn around first? Yeah. The black portion is very thin. It's a little bit thinner than we've seen, and I don't see any kind of lightning bolts and stuff in it. Yeah. So it may not look as accurate, the Mandalorian and the Clone Wars, but let's fire this up and listen to it, all right? All right, so I'm gonna press the button here, insert the blade. Oh, you can hear, do you hear the sound? Yeah. You hear it? Let's all right, we got the blade in there. All right, go ahead and turn it on, bud. Whoa! Oh, that looks! Oh. All the, we got two windows lighting up. Two of the four are lighting up for okay, us. Okay, that's good. All right, I'll take two. Whoa! Those are some intense sounds, man. Cool, all right, let me take a look. Whoa, let's listen to that again. Ignition. Okay guys, this is the first Galaxy's Edge Saber to flicker. Oh, but I'm not moving it. And it's making swinging sounds. Wait, I think it stopped, it stopped. All right. Whoa, the sensitivity is pretty cool. Wow, good clash effects. Wow, very cool, man. Hey guys, by the way, look what we've got. Oh my god. Make sure to subscribe. Okay, because you don't want to miss our review comparing these two dark sabers. I've been hiding this from this guy for a while. Wait, is that the stump? This has got smooth is that a stump swing. Saber? It's got smooth swing from art sabers. We'll be comparing that soon, so don't don't make sure to miss that.
Lastly, we're gonna come we're gonna compare the sound to what we hear in the Mandalorian with Moff Gideon. Yeah. You ready? Yeah. Have you ever seen one of these? From years past. Has like that electric zapping sound. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. Oh. Sounds like a whistling bird flying around. You're not ready to play with such things. See, I heard it. I heard it, man. Oh. Oh, you can even hear the like electrical zapping going on of the blade, right? Yeah. You hear that? Disney nailed it. Oh, <laughs> and he nailed the wall. <laughs> awesome job, Disney. Do with the sound effects. And I nailed the wall. And I love the blade flicker. That's probably my favorite part. Got some flickering. Finally, something flickers at Disney Galaxy's Edge, right? Yeah, we did. Wow. Turn off. And also, when you remove the blade, this actually isn't that heavy, man. It's yeah. but it's actually not bad. It's kind of light. If you had this on your belt with a nice sturdy belt, uh, it wouldn't be too much of a burden, I think, right, dude? Yeah. So overall, uh, for the for the price, my hands a lightsaber. I think this is a really awesome purchase. Um, I think it's really clean and fun. I look exactly like the replicas from the Mandalorian. The blade, I know, had a little bit of a flop to it, but I think all dark sabers are gonna have that. But overall, it feels really sturdy, right? Feels really sturdy, even though these exposed electrical kind of uh, boards right here make me a little nervous. Like, I wouldn't want these right here where you might be absorbing a lot of the shock if you were playing with it. So that's our review of the dark saber, guys. I think this is actually a really cool purchase. Yeah, right. And uh, I can't I believe Disney it. surprised us with it, man. But great job, Disney. I think we give this a ready thumbs up or down. One, two, three. Boom! Thumbs up from Finding the Force. Wait, hold on. Two thumbs up. All right, you got three thumbs up from Finding the Force. This was actually a really cool buy, and I love that it flickers. The sound is spot on. Really good purchase, I yeah. think, right? Yeah, it's like, and it looks like a movie. It, it does, it's really clean, yeah. uh, shiny, solid black. Yeah. Hey guys, thanks so much for hanging out with us and you have an awesome Star Wars Day! See you next time, guys. I've never been uh, slain by a dark saber.